again. Welcome to my cozy hobbies corner in progress. Um, in progress because I don't have anything on the walls yet. I have all of my yarn stuff here. I have all of my cute little stuff here. But yeah, still needs more decoration. That'll come up in a different video. But um, today I thought it would be fun to challenge myself. And that challenge that I thought of was mashing this sweater and this sweater into one sweater. <laughs> so this design on this sweater, the Cat Gan sweater, this is by Viv Crochets on YouTube. She has some really great tutorials on her channel. Um, I love this cat design of this sweater. But I gotta say, I don't really love the neckline of the sweater, so I thought, what if I made this sweater, which goes from bottom to up, and made it into a raglan sweater. Raglan. Raglan sweater. Which means that would go from top down. Whew. I hope it's not too stressful. But sweaters are a very big projects, so. so I got my little notebook here and I had to do all the math first because how are you going to crochet a sweater without any numbers if there's no actual pattern for it? <laughs> so I did all the math. That part's all done, so I really want to get started. Whew, wish me luck and hopefully it goes well. Good morning. <laughs> Yesterday I crocheted a lot of the sweater, but then I found a mistake. <laughs> and I didn't like how the front and back of the sweater was becoming a little too like poofy. So I just unraveled it. As you can see this blob of yarn back here. I'm not gonna touch it much because I don't want to tangle it, but so far, this is what I have now. Back to work.
So filming in the car, and I finished this sleeve yesterday, last night, and I tried it on. I think I like it, so I'm gonna replicate it on this side. Hopefully I don't get car sick from crocheting on a mountain drive. it on last night and I really like the sleeve so these are staying um, for the body now <sighs> this is where I'm gonna really switch it up because um, with a sweater that starts out like this you would just continue on going circular but I want to make kind of like a tapestry thing down there um, for the cats and for that because the front and back should look the same. Um, if I keep connecting the ends, it's gonna, the end, the I don't know, beginning of the, each row is gonna start shifting. Uh, so since I don't want that, I'm gonna do the front and back separately. So I'm gonna just do the front, flip it, and just keep going down the line. And when I'm done, start the back do the back and then when I'm done with that I'm just gonna sew the sides together so this is not a no sew sweater it's just gonna be a very low sew sweater but I think that'll work hopefully I don't mess up because I'm going um, top to bottom rather than bottom to top with this pattern um, but yeah that's what I will start on today Thank you. I just did the ribbing at the bottom, fully finished, and then guess what? The whole thing's done! This is what it looks like. I'm gonna steam it and then put it on and I'll show you guys. So I just steamed everything and here it is. Yeah, I I haven't I haven't put in all those threads in here it's all it's all like that you know tapestry you can even see it on my sleeve right now but i'll do that later this is just how it looks right now i'm so happy with it and from the back yeah <laughs> so let me just sit down and give you my final thoughts on the whole process of making this sweater. Oh, I mean, oh, looks good, right? <laughs> I 
<laughs> it feels, feels a little bit stiffer than I want it to be, but that's because I just, I guess I crocheted a little tightly, but look at it though. That's fine, it, it's cute, you know? Oh, I'll tell you my final thoughts. <laughs> so my final thoughts, um, the hardest part of making this sweater was probably planning it in the beginning. So all the math and everything that I was doing, um, yeah, makes sense that math was the hardest part, <laughs> but the planning took a while. Um, but I think I did a good job with it because everything went according to plan. Nothing had to be like fixed on the fly. So that was the hardest part. But then the second hardest part was the yoke right here. I kept making like the smallest mistake and I had to, I, I made the whole thing up to here and then unraveled the whole thing three times. <laughs> And that was very annoying for me, you know, but yeah, everything else, the planning was good. So everything else else was a breeze. Uh, so would I do this again? Would I make another sweater? Would I do another tapestry thing? Yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, the end pro product, if you look at this, if you see this, why not? Right? So yeah, I would definitely do this again. Yeah, but that's the end of today's video. And so hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And <laughs> see you next time. Bye.